you heard the leadership of BJP, for obvious political gain and for electoral reasons, they're whipping up the sentiment. Pakistan will be taught a lesson. Badla, badla, ki awazein gunj rahi hain Hindustan mein. Pakistan has made no irresponsible statement. There's no saber rattling on our side. We have been composed, and our response has been dignified. We've said we're willing to engage. We've said we're ready for a dialogue. And if you, the Indians, feel that dialogue and terrorism cannot go side by side, Okay, let's sit and talk about terrorism. Who would understand terrorism more than we do, who suffered 70,000 casualties? Our economy has been hit to the extent of over $128 billion. You're giving us a lecture on terrorism? The people of Pakistan have suffered. Innocent citizens have suffered. The armed forces have paid the ultimate price. Police officers, Javans have paid the ultimate price. The officers of the Pakistan army have paid the ultimate price. So don't talk about terrorism to us. We know when it hurts and how it hurts. So ladies and gentlemen, Pakistan's response has been that India, your policy in Kashmir has failed. Excesses use of force, there's a reaction to it. And Pulwama could be one demonstration of that reaction. The suicide bomber was a Kashmiri from the Indian side. The explosive were locally purchased. The car was Indian. Why are you pointing fingers at Pakistan? Do your soul searching. See what's gone wrong. See why today Mahbuba Mufti is saying you can arrest a person, but you cannot arrest an idea. Today, Mir Wise Umar Farooq is saying coercion can be exercised, but it will not change ground realities. Today, within days, within days, the main opposition party, I'm not going to name any, today they are questioning the, the, the logic and, and the arguments uh, put forward by the BJP government. They're questioning the intention behind Pulwama. What is Pakistan doing? I've written, I've written to the Secretary General of the United Nations to intervene, to de-escalate and diffuse tensions in the region. Because we feel the road India is following can destabilize and compromise peace and security of the region. I've written to the President of the Security Council asking him to play a role, to de-escalate. I have been, the last few days, post Pulwama, working the phone, talking to foreign ministers and world leaders, articulating Pakistan's point of view. And ladies and gentlemen, I think it is beginning to register. It is beginning to register what Pakistan is saying. And inshallah, it will. I'm confident it will. Today, people are seeing on their television screens what's happening in the Indian occupied Kashmir. An incident takes place in, in, in uh, Pulwama, which is about 20 kilometers from Shirinagar. 
and Kashmiri students are being attacked in New Delhi. Does it make sense? An incident takes place in Pulwama, and an advocate, a journalist, 24 years old, is being attacked and beaten in Pune. Does it make sense? Cars, vehicles are being burned, property is being attacked, Kashmiri products being thrown out of bazaars. Complete hartal is Pakistan that influential that we can manage hartals? We can, we can uh, organize a shutdown of the entire valley? Are we that powerful? And if we are, then think twice. We want peace. We want peace. But at the same time, do not misread us. If there is a misadventure, the Prime Minister has clearly said, and the government is clearly saying, and as Foreign Minister of Pakistan, I'm saying, we will retaliate and we will retaliate immediately. No compromise. There will be no compromise. We have a right to self-defense. We have, we have a right to face uh, uh, beat aggression. So, this war frenzy has to be curtailed. And Kashmiris have to be engaged. There are three parties. You have refused to talk to Pakistan. You shied away from dialogue. On the 26th of July, even before being sworn in as Prime Minister, Imran Khan, his first national address says, Prime Minister Modi, you take one step towards peace, we will take two. He writes to the Indian Prime Minister that I would like my foreign minister and your foreign minister to meet on the sidelines of New York so that they can sit and work a way forward. The Indians agree to a meeting. A date is fixed, time is fixed. At the 11th hour, who buckles? Not Pakistan, India. And Shoshmaji uh, declines from that meeting. No issue. My response was, we are ready whenever you are. Despite that, we open Kartarpur, a corridor of friendship, of understanding. And go to any country, United States, Canada, Australia, UK, and carry out an open poll. What are the Sikhs as a community thinking of this gesture? They have welcomed it. We have liberalized the visa regime. We are no longer insecure. We said, let people come. Let people come and visit Pakistan. The bogey that they've created, the bogey that has been painted is oh, retrogressive. You know, as if you're living in dark ages. Come and see. Come and see for yourself. Come and meet the people of Pakistan. See how hospitable they are. See how, how warm they are. Come and meet the women of Pakistan and see how progressive they are. Because we have a very clear vision of Pakistan. And our vision, ladies and gentlemen, the vision of PTI is the vision of Muhammad Ali Jannah, Qaid -e Azam Muhammad Ali Jannah. That's the Pakistan we want. We are not trying to develop a, a, a fundamentalist state or an orthodoxy here. We will have, inshallah, a progressive democracy a welfare state. That's what we believe in. So, to our friends in Kashmir, the message is, 
we were with you, we are with you. Our support, our diplomatic support, our political support, and our moral support will remain with you. We will not push this issue into the back burner. And there were governments, ladies and gentlemen, in which the key word was forbidden. Isko mamnu jana jata tha. Alhamdulillah, I'm proud of the fact that at the General Assembly, when I stood up to speak for Pakistan, first I spoke in my language, Urdu, because I wanted to convey a point. And I wanted to send a message to the people of Pakistan. And in that speech, if you go through it carefully, the atrocities, the human rights violations, I don't have to elaborate. You can read it yourself. On the 19th of February, what happens in Brussels? A public hearing. A public hearing is organized. Do we control the European Parliament? We don't. And what does that Parliament say? The message is, India, stop atrocities in the Indian-occupied Kashmir. Main nahi keh raha. Brussels keh raha hai. So, aur ye mein urdu mein kahunga, Kashmiriyon se, Pakistan ka bachcha bachcha, Pakistan ka har fard, Pakistan ka har mard, Pakistan ki har mastoor aapke saath hai. Inshallah, हम असूल पर खड़े हैं और असूलों का सौदा नहीं करेंगे हम लगड़ा नहीं चाहते हम झगड़ा नहीं चाहते हम जंग नहीं चाहते हम अमन के ख्वाह हैं और अमन के दाई हैं लेकिन अपने मफादात का और कश्मीरियों के खून का सौदा नहीं करेंगे इंशाल्लाह सो लेट मी कंक्लूड बाय थैंकिंग द ऑर्गेनाइजर्स फॉर दिस इवेंट एंड लेट मी थैंक यू सर for being at the House of Commons and saying what you said. I heard you loud and clear. Thank you for being here. Thank you for inaugurating the exhibition organized by Mashal Malik. And thank you for offering uh, your services for finding a solution, a peaceful solution. There is no other solution. Let the Indians know, two neighbors, two atomic neighbors have no other option but to sit together and find a solution. And solution, inshallah, we will find with the support and the du'as of the people of Pakistan. Thank you.